We are at PoolPlaza.com and this video concerns how you identify the pump you have in order to purchase replacement and repair parts. This first pump that we're looking at obviously is an old one. You can see evidence of corrosion and material from the inside of the pump and older pumps are sometimes hard to identify. In order to get the correct parts you need the manufacturer name, preferably the model number of the actual pump, and sometimes the actual part number of the parts you're replacing. But we'll go through the process of locating all that information, even though you may have a pump where much of the information has been removed. Please note that this is the pump, the whole mechanism. That includes everything from where the wiring goes in at the back of the motor to where you would attach the pipe at the front of the pump. This is the pump. The motor is only this one piece of the pump that attaches to the seal plate. So don't get that confused. Motor is just a part. The pump is the complete mechanism. On the motor label you may find some useful information, but it is not by any means all the information you need to locate parts. Remember that motors are generic parts, even though they may have a manufacturer's number on them. The most important information on a motor label is located in three places. The horsepower, here it says the horsepower is one. The frame size, here it says the frame is 48Y. And the service factor, abbreviated SF, and here it says the service factor is 1.25. That means that this particular motor is a one horsepower uprated square flange motor. On this particular pump, even though it's many years old, we're very fortunate that the manufacturer name Stay Right and the model name Maxi Glass 2 are still listed on the pump. The Maxi Glass 2 is an obsolete pump, but it tells you where you need to look for parts. On this pump, again, we're very fortunate in that the actual pump model number is still attached to the pump. On Stay Right pumps, the model label is at the top of the seal plate. Notice this is the large clamp, and it's right behind the clamp at the top of the seal plate. There's a little ledge that sticks out from the seal plate and the model number is clearly shown on this label. If your pump does not show the name of the manufacturer or the model name and you cannot find model information on it, you can determine who the manufacturer is by getting part numbers from the pump parts. The easiest part to look at is the lid over the strainer basket. This lid comes off and there is a part number on the lid. It's molded into the plastic and it's right here between these two little ridges. It may be difficult to see but there always is a part number on the lid and that part number will tell you who the manufacturer is and most of the time also give you an important clue about the model. Once you've discovered the manufacturer name and model, getting the right parts is usually pretty easy. But on many models there will be several different horsepowers. So if you need a part that's directly related to the horsepower of the pump, such as an impeller or diffuser or motor, you may need to take off the impeller to get the impeller part number. 
the impeller part number tells you all of the information about the pump. On this particular pump, we take the clamp off and remove the power end of the pump. I've already removed the diffuser that covers the impeller. And on this impeller will be a part number. Unscrew the impeller counterclockwise and the part number we need is on the back of the impeller molded into the plastic. On some stay right pumps you'll have the molded number in this case, the number is C105238P. And then after the number is a small circle. Check that circle to see if another letter or number has been stamped in it that may not look like the other numbers on the impeller. That's important. But check for the complete number because that's very critical to getting the right replacement part. Some pumps, when you look at the motor label, it will give a lot of information, but the information may not be exactly what we need. Remember that the motor is just a part on the pump. On this particular motor, it says Century Centurion A.O. Smith. That is not the name of the pump, and it's not the model of the pump. This is information about the motor only. Now on this label, because it's on a new pump, they do not list all of the information you need. The horsepower is missing, and you cannot identify this pump from the motor label. So if you see a motor label and it says A.O. Smith, Century Centurion, that is not the name of the pump, but just the motor only. And even if you need to replace the motor, you need information about the pump to help you make the right decision. On this particular pump, the manufacturer has clearly placed their name in such a way that it will never rub off. So you know at least that this is a Jandy pump and it will have other labels on it identifying it as a flow pro model and on some pumps it will list the model number on that label as the flow pro always look for model number as I said almost every impeller will have a part number on it most impellers will have the part number on the back. This impeller does not have the part number on the back. It doesn't have the part number on the front plate either. For whatever reason, the part number has been placed on the rim. Right here it says Assembly 073130 and it's also listed on the inside of the impeller plate. So you have to look really hard sometimes to find those numbers, but they are there. In summary, we need to know when you're looking for parts, either the motor or other parts for the pump, the manufacturer name, the model number if you can find it, and if you can't find those, we need to know 
the horsepower, the service factor, and the frame size from the motor label, if you can read that. If not, we need the part number from the impeller, which will give us all the information about the pump so we can show you what replacement parts you need. But it's critical on a pump when making repairs that you get exactly the right replacement parts so it'll work like a new one when you're finished. If you need to call us, you can call us at 800-394-6131 or you can email us at info, I-N-F-O, at pooplaza.com.